the land of Egypt to stay all the festivals in the land. And God, however, gave the Israelites an instruction. He told them to kill the lamb and apply the blood upon their doorposts. The children of Israel obeyed this institution, and when the end of the day saw the blood, he passed over them, and they were exempted from danger. As we realize we in Egypt, so are Christians in this world. As the end of the day passed through the land of Egypt, so the enemy sent trouble and arrows in our world. However, as the blood of the Lamb protected the first bones of the Israelites from the angel of death, so the blood of Jesus protects you from all troubles and dangers for the world today. Hallelujah. From today, make it the point to always plead the blood upon your life, your wife, husband, children, and household, businesses, possessions, and all that concerns you. You will escape every satanic arrow by the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, you didn't hear me. I tell you, you will escape every systemic arrow by the blood of Jesus Christ. Call you stand to our feet for our prayer and our bold confession. Be alive today. Hallelujah. Oh, stand to our feet. Don't be down. Now, our prayer says, Oh, Lord. Oh, the scout says, Oh, Lord. Let the blood of Jesus protect me from every satanic arrow. In Jesus' name, let's go and pray. Kala Batushia, Le Blad Sara Protection, Lebo Kosiada, Leria Bakata, Loko Sushuya, Pekitoria Bat, Laria Bakata, Eukasia. We are protected by the blood of the Lamb of God, Christ Jesus, Leria Bakata, Leria Bokotulia, Lake Tuliata, A Katsushiata, Leria Bakata, A Katuria Sia, Leria Berti, A Katsushuiata, A Lebro Tushiba. In the name of Jesus. Now, our, uh, our book of Revelation says, No satanic arrow, or after me, say, No satanic arrow will locate my life in Jesus' name. So, no satanic arrow will locate my life in Jesus' name. From now, they say, No satanic arrow will locate my life in Jesus' name. So shall it be hallelujah. Hallelujah. This one will take our church good prayer. Amen. One who pray and thank God for He's the harvest, for He's the Lord of the harvest. Hallelujah. Yes, open our mouth and thank Him. Open your mouth, thank Him. and his church and I tell people about Jesus boldly and with ease many souls have followed me to Jesus and to his church Gem Chapel I am serious with the home cell system in Gem Chapel I am the righteousness holiness and sanctification of God sin has no power over me negative addictions have no power over me I please God, I honor my men of God highly, and I respond positively to instructions and corrections. My prayer life and Bible study 
are consistent. I am healthy. The life of God is in me. From the top of my head, to the soles of my feet, to the tip of my toes, every fiber of my being, every bone of my body, every cell of my blood, every organ of my body has the life of God. I refuse to be sick. All my body parts are healthy. I receive grace to take good care of my body. Every Gem Chapel member walks in perfect health. In Jesus' name, say I'm wealthy. I swim in abundance. Money comes to me by free course. I bind lack, shortage, and poverty. I refuse to be poor. I bind Satan concerning my money. Ministering spirits go forth and bring me high amounts of money in all currencies in Jesus name say my business business ideas and employment matters are blessed every good word concerning me comes to pass with speed in Jesus name say gem chapel has become a household name to the glory of God many pastors missionaries and stewards have been trained of whom I am part we take over the world for Jesus we have abiding multitudes without number in Jesus name every day is a testimony day for us we are always joyful and full of praise we love Jesus extremely it is our year of extreme love for Jesus and we walk in it Shout, Jesus is King, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Supreme. Hallelujah. Let's welcome the voices of glory. Amen. This morning we minister one of our papa's songs. Lord, you are my confidence. Amen.
Worthy, God. 
Worship no one but you. No one is worthy but you. Oh, you are the greatest, my King. Tell them, ask them, do you want a stone to praise God? Or, or tell them you can praise God yourself. Can you uh, ask them, can you praise God yourself? Okay, let's give the Lord a triumphant praise. Woo! Glory. Oh, some of you are still quiet. The young man here is quiet. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Hallelujah. It's Palm Sunday. Yes, Mr. Khan, bring it, bring it. And let us see here. Today is Palm Sunday, and Mr. Kant is rightly waving the palm. Yes, wave it and let us see. It's Palm Sunday. God bless you. So we are waving, we are shouting, we are screaming. We should look at the scripture before we sit down. In the book of Luke, chapter 19 from verse number 30 luke l-u-k-e luke <laughs> let's look at luke let's all read ready go go ye into the village over against you so that should even tell you that my the villages are against people amen ah uh, yeah i uh, didn't you read it right now go to the village against you now it's King James anyways, but the word against means opposite. Now, that is even the literal meaning, opposite. That means the villages are opposite to you. <laughs> it's a go ye into the village over against you. Continue for me. In the which at your entering, you shall find a cult tied, whereon yet never man sat. Some of you are going to drive cars nobody has driven. I mean, when it came to car, your, your, your amen is very loud. When it was praise. Amen. Now, can you praise God before we go? Before, before. 
I am a margin and bonnet mamma dreams. Hallelujah. Yes, you are going to drive a tear over car. Let's continue. Let's read from loose. Ready, go. Loose him and bring him hither. Hither means here. Continue in verse 31. Please, we'll be going. So just prepare 32 now, customers, just in case you didn't know. Ready, go. And if any man ask you, why do you lose him? That shall you say unto him, because the Lord hath need of him. Can you tell somebody, God needs you. God needs you. With a smile. Some of you are not smiling this morning. Tell them, God needs you. God needs you. Amen. Continue for me. 32, ready, go. And they that were sent went their way and found even as he said unto them. Continue. And as they were losing the cult, the owners thereof said unto them, Why lose ye the cult? Continue. And they said, The Lord hath need of him. Tell another person, that God really needs you. God. 35. Let's read 35. Ready, go. And they brought him to Jesus, and they cast their garments upon the cult, and they set Jesus thereon. They cast their garments upon the cult. Amen. Continue. And as he went, they spread their clothes in the way. Continue. And when he was come nigh, even now at the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of Gem Chapel, of the disciples, began to rejoice and praise God. How? With a loud voice. Are you part of the multitudes that will praise Jesus with a loud voice? Glory! They began to praise Jesus with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen. We have seen mighty works in Gem Chapel. You are alive, I'm alive. That's a great thing. Because if you die, whatever you want to achieve will not happen. Look at someone say, you are alive. Saying, let's read 38, ready, go. Saying, blessed be the king that cometh in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. So it was the Matthew's version that he said, Hosanna. Continue. And some of the Pharisees from among the multitude said unto him, Master, rebuke you. So today I don't want any Pharisaic attitude. When somebody is shouting, let us say, hey, hey, hey. Tell somebody, are you part of the Pharisees or you are part of the praises? Yeah. You see, the Pharisees said, Tell them to stop praising me. What did Jesus say? Let's all read verse 40 loud and clear. Ready, go. And he answered and said unto them, uh -huh, I tell you that if these should hold their peace, what will happen? The stones will, when, when? immediately cry out did you hear that he said, if these people don't praise he said the stones will not hesitate it won't take one minute immediately they will cry out no if you are not praising the stones are waiting to cry out it's not that they're going to be lying down no they will cry see a stone at dummy saying jesus we praise you who's a bony in our and they'll be praising god why because you the human being made in the image of God said that you are too gentle, you are too tired you are too dignified you have respectability and nobility you don't want to really really praise God very very well we are going to praise God one more time yeah. amen and amen did you hear what Jesus Christ said oh, they thought that Jesus Christ didn't like it he said hey, if they stop now uh, the way they pray, we want the praise the stones must move and praise us if human beings are refusing to praise the stones it's like as we are we are serving god eh, stones are ready to take our place because when the Pharisees also said we have abraham as our father Jacob said that i can of these stones raise children for abraham it's like the stones are always waiting in the in the in the book of isaiah and the psalms he said that the the trees will even clap their hands and praise god so the the other um living things are ready to step in if we the human beings don't take our place in praise and in worship am i communicating here so i'm going to count up to three then we're going to give god 
an unusual hosanna palm sunday praise because you know we are commemorating and enacting the events that happened in jesus's days palm sunday good friday and next week is resurrection sunday yes people can easily forget the suffering of jesus that's why i like that song of breath for because we don't forget the sufferings of our lord jesus christ yes many christians have forgotten that someone came to suffer and die for them no brother man go feel bang in chest and die for you i'm telling you so i want everybody to, to like you are coming here on um, wednesday night thursday night friday morning good friday saturday holy saturday sunday Saturday. everybody should be involved I mean, Jesus Christ looks, looks at the way he suffered and Friday somebody's walking to the mall without coming to church. He said, ah, does this person know what I did for him? Does this person know that Good Friday is about me? Not about Kwawu or a trip or a beach? Does this person know Good Friday is not about work? Does this person know it's about my sacrifice? Many Christians, they, they trivialize Good Friday. Listen, it was a horrible and terrible Friday for Jesus. But it became good for us. Because he was ready to go through it. Amen and amen. So there is nothing we shouldn't go through for the Lord Jesus. One. I'm counting three. Don't forget. Shout your hands out. Two. 2.5. Oh, oh, bra, 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 2.5. 2.7. Oh, oh, 2.9. Two trusty penalty, two point nine, two point nine 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 nine. Should I release you to shout? I said, should I release you to shout? Are you ready? A clap, a jump, a shout. Three. Can we praise Jesus? Glory, glory, hallelujah. You have stopped too early. You have stopped. It's like you are in a hurry to stop praising God. Jesus said, if you stop, the stones will rise immediately. Out of them shall proceed the sound of sons given and the voice of them that make merry. And I will multiply them and they shall not be few. I will glorify them and they shall not be small. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell somebody you are now doing well. Tell them at first you were joking. Tell them as for now, I have seen you really love God. And you really want to praise God. Amen and amen. amen. Lift your hands and let's thank him one more time. Lift your hands and thank him. You are the monarch of the universe. There's no one in your class Your power is strong and can contend There's no one in You are the monarch, lift your voice and sing it You are the There is no one in your class, church There's no one in your class Your power is strong Your power is strong None can contend there's no one need there's two i lift my hands lift your hands i lift my hands and lift my voice i don't mind who's looking thank you for all thank you for all you have done accept my heart you are the monarch of you are the monarch of the you there is no one in your class there's no one in your class. your power is strong your power is strong, none can contend. There's no one. Lift your hands. I lift my hands. I lift my hands and lift my voice. I don't mind who's looking. Thank you for all. Thank you for all you have done. I've set my your, your mercy, lift the voice. Your mercy has all. generation from one generation to the next we'll sing your praise from nation 
are lifted from one generation to the next we'll sing your praise on Sanama soul from nation to nation the praise will resound exalted above all other gods Lord Somebody shout Jesus. Jesus. Shout it well. Shout Jesus. Jesus. One more time. Shout Jesus. Jesus. Amen and amen. It's a long week. I want you to greet four people. Tell them welcome to Gem Chapel. I'm happy to see you. 
Tell them I'm very happy to see you in Gem Chapel with a smile, with a smile, with a smile. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Let's be seated. God bless you, God. Today is Palm Sunday. And today, Mommy and I are also celebrating our 13th anniversary. So we are in the anniversary mood. Amen and amen. Please, let's be seated. Mommy is looking very beautiful. Yes. Amen. Mommy, God bless you. Yes, this is 13 years ago. Yeah. 13 years ago. This is our traditional um, marriage. Yeah. Yeah. This was the last picture we took during the traditional Marriage, yeah. So that's how it is. And now this is what the Lord has done to the glory. I thought it looks like you are jealous. I said, now this is what the Lord has done. One of the places where there's jealousy is the church. So let me say it again. This is what the Lord has done. Amen. God bless you. Let me sit in the presence of the Lord. You you keep moving from glory to glory in Jesus' name. Lift your right hand with me. Say, Holy Spirit, I love you. Say, Holy Spirit, I need you. Say, Holy Spirit, you are my sweetest heart. You are my dearest one. Say, Holy Spirit, take over, take charge, take all the glory. Say, Holy Spirit, give me understanding and I shall live. In Jesus' name, amen. I see McClendon is very poised for today's meeting. It's Palm Sunday and I am led to teach on a very simple topic that the Lord gave me praying for the service and the Lord said I should preach on the topic today. So the title of today's message is today. <laughs> Look at four people around you and say today, 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 amen. Please be seated in the presence of the Lord. Yeah. In God, it is many, and in tree is a ne, a ne, and many. Yeah, and in, in the book of Daniel, we have the handwriting on the wall, which was many, many. The tail of a seed. <laughs> now, before I point to that, there are about four things to note concerning Palm Sunday or four or five things are you ready to write something number one because palm sunday you see it was when the donkey was loosed for jesus to use number one if the lord doesn't use you you are useless yeah number one if the lord doesn't use you you are useless you can have a car, you can have cars, you can have mansions. If the Lord is not using you, you are useless. Number two, am I too fast? Number two, if the Lord, are you, to ask somebody, are, are you writing? Are, are you writing? <laughs> Number two, if the Lord doesn't use you, you are limited. You are limited. Ujuakwaba. <laughs> I think that all night I was everybody was late. I was giving them welcome. Do you remember? If the Lord doesn't use you, you are limited. Now, Uncle Chris, we number three. If the Lord uses you, men honor you by default. That one is factory settings. If the Lord uses you, men honor you by default. Media, when I was coming, the video was not coming, but is it coming now? We are working on it. Wow. Men are at work. These you are watching online, it's not, it, has, it has not come. They say they are working on it. So expect to see me soon. So online, please listen to the audio message as I'm preaching. It's audio now, but listen to it in good faith. Amen. Number four. If the Lord uses you, 
there are entries for you entry there are entries for you amen then the last one number five Palm Sunday shows how important praise is to God. Palm Sunday shows how important praise is to God. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Please, what is number one? If the Lord does not use you, you are what? And it's true. Because the donkey was tied. And for years, nobody was using the donkey. The donkey and the child tied. Until Jesus said, bring him to me. I need him. The donkey would have been there till it died. If Jesus had not said, bring that donkey to me. So listen to me. You may achieve a lot of physical things. But when you go to heaven and you enter into eternity, you're going to find out that all those physical things were useless. If there was nothing you did for the Lord, thank God for your nice house. We're happy for you. Thank God for your nice car. We're happy. Thank God for your degree. We are very happy. But master's PhD, when you go to heaven, you're going to find out that it is nothing. Even the angels don't respect it. But on earth, go for it. But in going for it, don't forget the most important thing. Doing something for the Lord. The one you're going to spend eternity with. What is important to him must be important to you. So if God had not used the donkey, the donkey would have been tied for life. Tied for life, not used for anything. We deduct and deduce. If the Lord does not use you, you'll be useless. You can have four cars and 20 mansions. One day somebody said, I have 140 houses. Yes. Joe is saying that I like it. Joe, you can like it all. But let your life be important to God. Let the Lord use you. Win a soul for the Lord. Can I get an amen? amen. What was number two? Let me be seated, please. If the Lord does not use you, you are what? You are limited. Please, when the donkey was tied, could it move anywhere? I had a dog that was called Ogre. Ogre was a local dog. And anytime you tie Ogre's neck with a chain, and Ogre cannot move, the whole day from the time you tied him till the time you release him, only noise. Protest, young one. You are my owner. You have tied me. Is it good? <laughs> and one day when I tied him, it went to chew somebody's chicken. You know the story of Ogre. And when Ogre went to chew, I caught him. But when he saw me, that dog was dodging me. When I passed here, it was also pass here. When I passed here to pass, because I really wanted to beat him. And finally, I got him. And I said, don't do that again. And I went to tie him. When I tied my I knew the limit the chain could get to. And I took chicken and I put it there where he could not reach. So when he was coming, the thing will lock him like that. I said, So, oh, Miss My Yobi. <laughs> you see, the donkey would have been that limited. You know, the scientists did a particular research. The research was that they got a cage. When they got a cage, they put some monkeys inside. And when they put the monkeys inside, they put a very big lid on the cage. And when the monkey, the monkeys were about to get to a particular level, then they'll make a particular noise that will scare them, then they'll come down. When the monkeys are about to climb, they'll make a particular noise, then the monkeys will come down. Then after some days, they removed the lid. When the monkeys got to that level where they make the noise, even though there was no lid, they couldn't go again. They had conditioned them. There's more of you, society has conditioned you as to the limit you must get to. Especially in Ghana, you cannot get certain things. Whether you're a businessman, no matter what you do. 
But when Jesus sits on you, that tie, he was tied, but that tie, that rope is removed. You are now limitless when Jesus sits on you. There are some of you, you will go places you never thought you would get to. Yeah, when Jesus sits on you, tell to people, let Jesus sit on you. Let Jesus sit on you. Please be seated, praise the Lord. Lord. Tied spiritually, tied financially. The example they have been tied. There was one lady, she wanted to marry, and she told the gentleman, Let's go to the, to the village, let's go and see my people. As they sat in the bus, VIP bus, as they were going, they get to a point, and the lady will start making noise, I want to get down, I want to get down. Then she wants to break the windows of the VIP. Pa, pa, pa. Musime, musime. I want to get down. Pa, pa, pa. Then the bus will stop. Then the gentleman and the lady will get down. Then the lady, will, the man they step down, they say, "Why have we gotten down?" She said, "Ah, but you are the one who said you want to get. You won't go again. You won't go." Again. She said, "Me, I never said that. Please put me in the bus and let's go." When they get to the, they sit in the bus. Five minutes, ten minutes. Hey, I want to get down. I want to get down. Why? Because the powers did not want her to marry. That's how they didn't get to the village and they returned. When they returned, it didn't happen again. Until they came for deliverance. There are powers who, who have limited destinies. As long as that destiny, you won't go to this, this achieve, you won't achieve it. And I've seen too much in this life. But when you see the secret is if you let Jesus sit on your life, that tie, that rope is removed. There are people who are looking at me now. That limit has been taken off in the name of Jesus. I said the limit has been taken off in the name of the Lord Jesus. Please be seated. Please be, Lord. be seated. What was number one? If the Lord does not use you, you are useless. What is number two? If the Lord does not use you, you are what? Limited. The donkey was tied. What is number three? Pardon? Men honor you by what? By default. It's normal. Two places where they put the cloth and the palm fronts. First of all, the Bible says that they put the cloth on the donkey. Donkey in your jacket, you. And the Bible said that Jesus sat on the donkey. When they sat, when Jesus Christ sat, and Jesus was about to enter Jerusalem, what did they do? They put cloth and palm fronts on the floor. Question. Who stepped on the cloth they put on the floor? It was a donkey. The men thought they were honoring Jesus, but rather it was a donkey that stepped on it. When you let Jesus sit on you, men honor you by default without even knowing. Am I communicating here? So they thought, oh, yeah, yeah, my Jesus. And so on, donkey in the Let Jesus sit on you. Let Jesus own you. Let Jesus possess you. Let Jesus take over your life. I've received different honors in different places and I've been, limits have been broken. I've gone to places I never thought I would go to. Just because I, I, I made Jesus sit on me. Please, can you preach with me? Tell to people, let Jesus sit on you. Let Jesus. Amen and amen. Let Jesus sit on you. <laughs> what was number four? But then, there are entries for you. Never, the never. <laughs> if the Lord uses your entries, some of you have not crossed the border of Ghana. You have not entered any nation before. Some of you have not entered into certain realms of soul winning before. Certain realms of soul winning. Some of you have not gotten. 50 souls at a go before. Please, how many of you here, you have gotten 50 souls at a go? They were following you to church. 50. Lift your hands and let me see. Uh -huh. You've not entered that realm. Saki, see, I will see real more. I you home, say, I change you and do 50. Saki, we drew at it. Sit and pray, Lord. What about it? Have you gotten 50 souls? 20. Hey, any other entry? Some of you, you see, entry is very important. I mean, you put in your 
the ATM card and you forget your code. You cannot enter. It's the card is for you, the account for you, but the money will not come. Yes. No entry. Have you also seen $100,000 before? You have not entered that realm. No, I'm talking about the one that is not for you. Hundred times that's all. You've not seen it before. It's not even for you. You don't see it. Eh? You are laughing, but some of you is the same thing. <laughs> the donkey would have stayed in that village, wouldn't, wouldn't have entered Jerusalem. That, but because Jesus sat on the donkey, and Jesus was making a triumphant entry, the donkey also got entry. <laughs> yeah. The donkey also did the donkey get entry or they didn't get entry? It got entry. I'm praying for somebody who has not entered any nation before, some number of souls before, you have not gotten some, some level of business, I mean dimension, some level of wealth before. By you allowing Jesus to sit on, to sit on you, I give you entries in the name of Jesus. Can your amen be louder than what you just did? Can your amen be violent more than what you just did? Yeah. Receive entry into unusual realms in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Come on, say, I have entries. Yeah. Say, triumphal entries. Yeah. Please be seated. Yeah. The donkey who was in a village, a villager, got entry into a city because it allowed Jesus to do what? To sit on it. So when you enter Christ, you will go places. I'm telling you. You will enter places. And one day they made a car to come and pick me to go and pray for someone. The places I enter, I say, wow. Ah, if, it's, if we turn off for Jesus. If we turn off for Jesus. Alinko is saying, yeah, Alinko, you also enter. Amen. Nations will open for you. Amen. This is not AGM, but I've started prophesying to you. And as I'm prophesying to him, I'm prophesying to a lot of people. Nations will open for you, will open for your ministry, will open for your, your businesses. I internationalize you this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yeah. When the Lord uses you, you get entries. Please be seated. And what was the last one? What was the last one? Pardon? Palm Sunday made us what? It shows how important praises is. Some of us, we joke with praises. Praises. Ah, is that Bosheba? Bosheba, is that you? Ah, Bosheba, yeah. That's my son, Bosheba. He has fans in every, 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 every. Everybody clap for Bosheba. Yeah. As we are clapping for him, he's taking you a picture. And some people, if you don't clap for them, they will never take you. You never get your picture in the church pictures. <laughs> and people, they are sitting down there, they have post. You see, sometimes if the cameraman says he will not take you some of the pictures, you won't get some. <laughs> amen and amen. And if somebody came to see him, the papa looks like every time I'm not in the pictures. No, I'm <laughs> and I'm saying, I only cameraman and you're fine. We try to Amen and amen. Praises. Lifting your hands, lifting your voice, and lifting what? Your heart. I've taught you this before. Can you imagine the adults and the children praising Jesus, lifting Jesus, Hosanna in the highest. Oh God, we thank you. Oh God, praise. this is the King of Kings. This is Jesus. And the Pharisees said, Hey, when you're doing your phone, quiet. And they were still praising. Then they now went to Jesus and said, Jesus, Master, rebuke your disciples. Tell them to stop hailing you and worshiping you and praising you. Jesus Christ said, look, I tell you, look at verse 40. I tell you that if these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. That person, this thing is important to me. You cannot stop them. Listen, if you are a Christian, don't let anybody stop you from praising. Because maybe one day you were walking somewhere and a stone hit you. Maybe that stone prays for you one day when you are not praising. Say, bad boy. (laughs) 
There are some of you when we are shouting, you don't shout. Shouting for Jesus, you don't shout. We are lifting up, you, you won't lift. We are singing, you won't sing. We are worshiping, you won't worship. A stone is praising for you, and a stone is taking your blessing. Because there are blessings in praise. I'm telling you, there are blessings in praise. A stone. Just I said that if these people stop, there are stones to replace them. Is it that there are stones to replace any church that does not praise well? Is it that there are stones to replace any Christian that does not praise God well? For any lack of praise believer, there's a stone to praise in his place. Jesus. I mean, Cosmos has done with me the message. But he said, if they kept quiet, the stones would do it for them. Shouting praise. A shouting stone. Maybe that's why there's a name called Serebo. A boy or Sere. Ah, glass stone. <laughs> because a human being who should have laughed did not laugh. And the stone began to laugh. Looked at the boy. Said, Mr. Serebo. In the same way, we may also have a a praising stone. Because a human being should have praised and it's not praising. From today, decide. From this Palm Sunday, decide that apart from the Palm Sunday, any time when the praise of our God is on, you are not going to joke with it. A stone will not take your place. I said a stone will not take your place. Yeah. I'm telling you. Some people they allow a stone. But today, if I give you the chance to praise God, don't allow a stone. On Wednesday, during the Easter convention, when we are praising, don't allow a stone. Okay, when we are praising on Sunday, don't allow a stone. Okay, I'm talking to you. Don't allow a stone. When we are worshiping, okay, don't allow a stone. When we are lifting our hands, okay, don't allow a stone. Okay, Chuku. Ah, come for it. <laughs> okay, you two come for it. Don't allow a stone to praise God. When you are singing to Bechuku, you must make sure that you know, he, has, he has done it for me. Ikechuku and Ogechuku singing what? To He has done it for me. I know I'm telling you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. To he has done it for me. Don't allow a stone to praise God. And if I say, suffer this hard not you, the past Sunday, you may need your hand here. To me, be a good life better than I Hallelujah. And if I'm proud of you, Mama Momentum, I'm proud of you. God bless you. Maybe sit there, praise the Lord. And you know, Joe, or say, I'm going to cry, my baby, because I'm going to say, my answer it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, baby. Hey, Lola baby. All night we are tuning Lola baby. See, I mess. Hey, Lola, I don't know. Tune them. You may be seated, praise the Lord. Oh, Lola, turn here. Please, you may be seated. Everywhere, you may be seated. Lola, I'll tune you more. I'll tune them, Papa. I'll tune us. Ah, home brass. Ah, ah. I said, Brent, who was it? I was in my way, Papa, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Ikechuku and Ogechuku. We must not allow stones. Gem Chapel, place of glory. We must not allow stones to take up. This is the words of our master, our savior. He said, if they stop, stones will immediately cry out. They will cry. Look at they said they will be shouting praise. That means they are, they are waiting. <laughs> if you won't do, I will do. I never end up here. I will do. I'm telling you. Yesterday, I had a lot of meetings, a lot of meetings, and I got home in the night. I forgot that, I mean, because of anniversary, I must even shave my hair. If the Baba will not do, Mommy was the one who shaved my hair for me. This one. Yes. My baby for life. <laughs> yes. She also traveled. You see, Friday all night, when we were doing the all night, she had to go. She also traveled. Yes. When she came now, she said, Papa, 
Papa, sit down. Let me let me club your hair. And they find a club sandwich. I'm telling you. Mommy caught me, sat me down, and mommy shaved my hair. How many wives can shave hair? How many? In this generation. And to be chuku. But I know Grace Nago can shave hair too. <laughs> ah, come forward. <laughs> <laughs> in future she will also be shaving her husband's hair uh, mommy has given her that grace because she's also called what grace grace to help yeah so you see if the papa won't shave mommy will shave so when i've not shaved my hair and mommy is there i don't mind okay look at when i've not shaved my hair and mommy is there i don't care Mm, and I'm, I'm telling you, tell you, I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm I'm not going to focus attention about me to hear she is what and she me too. Oh, put your hands together to the name of the Lord. <laughs> amen and amen. Ikechuku <laughs> and Ogechuku. When we are singing to Bechuku, don't allow a stone to take your place. Now, why did the, the Lord, Grace, why did the Lord narrow down that the title for today's message is today? The Lord ministered to me that as he has given us a mandate in John 21 verse 15, that we should be useful to him. You, you know what is, in, what is in John 21 15, right? Please, what is there? So when they had dined, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Thou lovest me? Come forward there. Hey. <laughs> lovest thou me? Thou lovest me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. God has given us a work to do. Once we have decided we are not going to be useless, we will let the Lord use us. He has given us an assignment. And the Lord said, how can the assignment be great? How can your life be great? How can you enjoy a great life in God? How can your work for God produce results? The Lord said to me, tell the people, God, the Lord has told me myself, and I'm telling you using it the longest time. He said, tell the people, they should maximize every day. Daily. Maximize what? Every day. Maximize it. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 33 to 34, 33 said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be what? I did not look at 34. Many people skip. They, 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 don't, they don't look at 34. Everybody, let's read 34 together from the top to the back to the front. Are you ready? Ready? Go. Take therefore no thought for the morrow. Somebody say morrow. Why? For the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Continue for me. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Just by saying that every day has its own challenges. Tomorrow has its own challenges. He says, so don't think about tomorrow. Tomorrow will think about itself. What is he saying? He said, think about today. Maximize today. Some people think too much about tomorrow. They cannot live today. So you are looking for a big home sale. It starts with what you are going to do daily. In fact, God is the God of the day. Don't forget that in the beginning, when God was being creating, he took one day at a time. Concentrated on this day. When the next day comes, that next day too becomes the today. <laughs> when God was bringing the Israelites manna, please, what did he say? He said they should only pick for the day. When you leave some of the manna for the next day, it will become maggot. Abbot, it becomes maggot. I come for it. Abbot, 
it became maggot when they left some for the next day now now today I'm, today is not for that but i'm going to teach you what to do per day that can secure glorious tomorrow for you i pray i'm going to get I'm, i will i will look for time but not today not today god said i should tell everybody concentrate one day at a time you want to enjoy a great life a great home cell a great marriage a great academic life one day at a time you are now a student one day at a time so the manna they had to pick for what one day what did jesus christ say give us this day this day i deliberate forget tomorrow it will sort itself give us this day the bible said he daily loads us with what benefits he said blessed be the lord who daily loads us with benefits i think psalm 68 19 right, yeah blessed be the lord who daily loadeth us with benefits even the god of our salvation Sila. Please, how does he load us daily? He said, today. You must take a day and maximize that day. When you're able to maximize that day, you are sure that your tomorrow will be all right. You are so sure. I want to ask you a question. If you want to have a great life, you want to have a wonderful life, what is it? When you put all the area 120 years, you're going to be 120 years. When you put the 120 years together, say, oh, the man or the woman had a very good life. But the years, before you get the years, every year has months. So you have to maximize the months. Now you can say that, oh, the years have been good. For the months to also be maximized, you must maximize the weeks. Because it's the weeks that form what? The months. But for the weeks also to be maximized, you must maximize what? The day. If you don't maximize the day, the weeks will not be glorious. If you don't maximize the weeks, the months will not be glorious. If you don't maximize the months, the years will not be glorious. If you don't maximize the years, life will not be glorious. That means for life to be termed as great, it was a maximization of a day. That's all. So look at Genesis 25 7. Then we close. Ah. Look at Abraham. Look at Abraham. Look at Abraham. Genesis 25 verse 7. That's all we ready go. And these are the days of the. And these are the. Of the. And these are the. Of the. And these are the. Of the so years are lived in days, the days of the years, the days of the years. And look at what the Lord said concerning Abraham in Genesis 18:18. 18, 18. Before we come back here, Genesis 18:18. 18, 18. This is what God said: He said, "Seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great man, a great and a mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him." God said that you, we all know that surely Abraham shall become what? A great and a mighty nation. But how did that happen? The days of his years. He maximized the days. Oh, how will I pay the school fees for tomorrow? You concentrate on today. Oh, how will I get A in my exams? What are you learning today? Oh, how will the business work tomorrow? Okay, how? what are you doing for it to work today? Oh, how will my home cell members become 50? How can I have 10 home cell members? Okay, what are you doing concerning the cells today? To live a day that is not maximized is to cumulatively live years that are not maximized. Oh yeah. The Lord said I should tell everybody here. In fact, he said I should warn everybody here. Maximize your days. If you don't maximize your days, cumulatively, it cannot be said God used you. No. Also, what? Eh? You see, you shouldn't wait for the sweet by and by that one day, one day, I will work well for the Lord. I will do well for the Lord. No. What are you doing today? That's what is important. 
Sandra Sosu, what are you doing today? Today. The thing is today. Lord said that, and you see, and that's why when you read, I believe Hebrews chapter 3 verse 13. Let's all read, ready, go. But exhort one another, how? How? Uh -huh, continue. While it is called when? Today. Today. Exalt one another daily whilst it is called today. Whilst it is called today, sufficient unto today is the evil thereof. There are challenges in every day and there are also blessings in every day. When you wake up every morning, don't wake up lazily. Be active and say every blessing in this day, I'm going to get it. Whatever I would do to maximize every blessing, I'm going to do and get the blessing. And Lord said, when you go, tell them the topic for today is today. When we close from church and you go and say, today what, what, what did Papa Ben teach? What did your pastor teach? What will you tell them I taught? Today. Mene. Mene. Mene le. Mene. Hallelujah. Yeah. Today. You want to be a good student. You are waiting, 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 waiting. When it is the day before exams, then you start. Yeah. No. You must take it per day, one day at a time. You have an addiction. When you see that a day has come and you didn't do that addiction, thank God, because you have stopped. One day is like a thousand years before God. Sure. A thousand years, well, addiction, I'm mad. <laughs> Thank God. You're a businessman. Try to make a profit today. Try. Today. What are you doing today? You are married. Enjoy the marriage today. In fact, the Bible says that you don't know tomorrow in the book of James. So whilst you have today, enjoy today, today. That's why you sang the song, today, 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 Jesus will do one as when? Today, today. To write the title of the message today. Today, some people are so consumed with tomorrow that they don't enjoy today. I have 10 things you need to do, but I'm not talking about it today. Somebody say, oh, Papa, you should have said it when today. You don't want <laughs> that today will come and I'll share it with you. Miss Mike, that Francis. Oh, wow. That's good. We invited Francis together, and today, Francis is here. Amen. Oh, one day I know I'll serve God well. No, serve God well when? Today. Oh, one day I know me to I'll become a steward. You are not taking any step, and you are hoping. You must become a steward when? Today. One day I know me to God will use me. Let God use you when? Today. 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 It's today. Oh, come for it. Today. Paka, when can you start a 20 home sales? Today. Do the need for. Paka, your pastor, your pastor is talking telling you to come. <laughs> Wow, what a very handsome boy. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> when will you win the patients at the hospital? Coco, it's today. Yeah. No, it's Coco. Osha. Hallelujah. And you are confused about the cocos. Hallelujah. <laughs> It's today. Osebonsu, when will you win souls for the Lord? It's today. Yabroni, when are you going to do something for God? It's today. Have you joined the choir or joined something? What have you joined? Sanctuary. Chi choir. Wow. Chi choir. Prayer department. Also, no need chi choir. Also, no English service. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, clap for your bro. <laughs> Second service, English service. Blantan, when should we do the sound well? Today. So one day our papa will give you very good sound. That day is today. Never. When are you going to bring 20 souls to church? It's today. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. If you are able to remember this thing that I'm telling you, you're going to see that one week will come, one month will come, two months will come, one year will come, you will look back and say, wow, it has been productive. If, if it's marriage, I said, take one day at a time. Some people came to see mommy and I at the office and we asked them, how is marriage? They said, very nice. You see, see, the way you have married and it's nice, multiply that every single day. It can become 10 years. It can become 13 years. It can become 50 years. Take it per day. Enjoy yourselves per day. Per day, not someday. Amen and amen. Whilst it is today. 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 Make sure that from today, when you wake up and that day is today, you say that today, every blessing, every testimony, I'm going to enjoy it today. You live for God today. You do something about that home cell, that feeding. You know, if I preach about John 21 15, if you love me, feed my sheep, my sheep, and we close, and I don't see you that day talking to somebody about how to be serious with God, how to build their spiritual life. I said spirit, soul, body, how to build their soulish life, how to build their bodily lives. And that day, you are not saying anything. It is a clear sign that eventually the year will end and you have not raised anybody. You are not doing anything today. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. Please, am I communicating here? Yes, sir. If we close today and today you are not talking to anybody like Ikechiku, you are closed on Sunday and you are not, I mean, going to anybody to tell them that you heard the word of God, be serious with the things of God. Let me take you to a department. Let me take you to I'm someone who is head of usher, so I can introduce you. You become an usher. Let me take you to the MDs. You join the choir. Let me take you to Osofu NK. Start membership class. Let me take you to Pastor Foster. Start to class. If I don't see you doing that today, cumulatively, you will not raise anybody. You will not feed anybody. No lamb will become a sheep under your watch. Please, I'm, I'm talking to the whole church. If we close and you are not doing something today, you are not doing something today for somebody to be established, to grow in the things of God. You see that years will be compiled and nobody has known God more because of you. But you are going to maximize today. You are going to maximize today. I said when you go, they will say, what did your pastor teach? What is the topic? Today. Can you stand to your feet? If you are shouting for love, when must you shout? Today. Go for it. Uh. Lift up your hands and thank the Lord. Let's give God a praise. Let's thank Him. Your mercy has always been showered on our lives. From one generation to the next we'll sing your praise From nation to nation Your praise will resound Exalted above all other gods Lord Jesus Lift your two hands. Say, my father, my maker. Father, my maker. I, want to be I want to be useful to you, to you. Today. today. I receive, I receive the, grace the grace to do something, to do something about, it about it today, today. And, every day. and every day. In the name of Jesus. 
Clap your hands and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Pray, pray, pray. Let me do something today. In the name of Jesus. Everybody look at me. Some of you are not praying. Pray. Because the prayer you are praying today is what is important. Not what you want to pray tomorrow. Am I communicating here? Some people hope for, I know one day my prayer life will be good. No, you have today. What are you doing with it? That's why years will pass and your prayer life is not good. Because the day you remember that I have to pray, where you are, start praying. Please, I'm not communicating here. Don't wait. Whatever you have to do, every day, do something towards it. Today. That's what the Lord, you see, as the Lord, when the Lord is bringing a message, Today, simple word. But if you can take it that this is my message, this is my, it's not for someone, it's for me. Please, it's for who? If you take it that this is for me, it changes everything. How many of you are going to do something every day that, like, which is your today, you're going to be doing everything? Because you know when tomorrow comes, tomorrow becomes when? Today. Today. Oh, I'm going to study the Bible well. When must you start? Oh, I'm going to pray well. Why must you pray well? Yes. Chelsea, today is the day you can pray well. So when I leave the prayer, Chelsea, don't play like Manchester. Yes. Lift up your two hands. Lift up your two hands. And I want to see everybody praying. Shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ah, fear now, Bobby. Shout in the name of Jesus. Say, O Lord, I receive the grace to maximize today, always, in the name of Jesus. Clap your hands and begin to pray. Come on, somebody pray. If you are to pray, pray today. If there's any day you pray well, it's today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Increase it. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Pray, 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 pray. Pray. Lord, let me maximize today. Don't let me waste today. Because what I have is today. Shalibeletesa. Pakatu beletesovash. La prakatu baha. Let me enjoy prayer today. Let me enjoy health today. Let me enjoy church today. Let me enjoy soul winning today. Let me enjoy my marriage today. Let me enjoy my relationship today. Let me enjoy my academics today. Let me enjoy Bible study today. Badibe ne kaburia takapa le katiza le roto vilikata le kotobaha. Pray, pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Father, let me maximize today. Kada babanda la baka prado sapale kapayash rapa kapanda la baka paya le kapara la bash in the name of Jesus. The Bible said that if you will hear His voice today, harden not your heart, as in the days of provocation, as your fathers provoked me in the wilderness. Osi ene so what ni niya me mo akuma ni di di di. God is calling some of you. To be born again. There are some of you now me a Christo for my shiasi. Obe say ne odo huma Christo na odo huma niye. Please, if you are here, Jesus comes now. You don't know where you're going. If you die now, you don't know where you're going. Lift up your right hand. Let me pray with you. Maybe somebody invited you here. Lift up your right hand. Let me pray. God bless you. God bless you. Lift up your right hand. You want to be born again. You want to serve God. Lift it up. Lift it up. Don't look at anybody. Lift it up. Lift it up. Don't look at anybody. God bless you. Keep lifting it. Keep lifting it. Jesus is calling you. 
You want to serve Jesus? Lift up your right hand. Please, if you have lifted your hand, come, come to me now. Come to me now. Come to me now. Wherever you are, you are. Please give them chance. Give them space. Give them space. Whether you are from the top or you are down here, please come. Please come. Please come. Please come. Oh, keep clapping for them. Keep clapping for them. Keep clapping for them as they are coming. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Please, wherever you are, come. You want to serve God. You want to give your life to Jesus. You want to be born again. You want to serve God and serve God well. Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is saying, come to me, brother. Come to me, sister. Come to me, young man. Come to me, young woman. Wherever you are, come. Come. Don't stop. Come. Don't stop. Come. You want to serve God. You want to serve God. Come. How yes, Oh, yes, me Oh, yes. Lift up your two hands. Mama, 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 lift your two hands. And say after me. Kedimechi. Say it very loud. Church, let's join them. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me all my sins. Say, Jesus, I believe you died and rose on the third day just for me. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. I am born again. I have eternal life in my spirit say i'm not for satan sin has no power over me in jesus name amen because a free neko christo we mirror and me cry jenka it will use to him amen father establish them let them serve you for life let them love you for life empower them in prayer empower them in bible study give them the desire to grow sweetest sweetest holy spirit thank you that you are their help thank you that they will grow and take one day at a time and cumulatively they will be giants in the spirit in jesus name amen god bless you when we close we're going to meet you for two minutes thank you for coming please you can go back to your seat can we celebrate them as they go james chapel i thought you know how to do it today yeah, yeah. Now lift your hands everywhere. Let me bless you. Are you ready for me to bless you? Yeah. So when I'm blessing you, shout your amen like no man's business. You will not waste any day. Yeah. I said you will not waste any day. Yeah. You will not waste any day. Yeah. Once it is called today, you are going to be highly productive in the name of Jesus. Yeah. So when weeks have come, months have come, years have come, your achievements will be increasing because you are maximizing every day in the name of Jesus. The things you have done for the Lord will be increasing because you are going to be doing something every day in the name of Jesus. You will not waste today. When the day is called today, you will not waste it in the name of Jesus. I call it done in Jesus' name. Amen. Give the Lord a celebration. Oh, can you do it today? Celebrate God well today. Yeah. Please, let's be seated. Let's take our offerings. What a service. Bless. Are you taking a good offering today? Once it's today, the offering must be good. Oh, next time I'll give a good offering. No, when must it be? Today. Give a good offering. As of what is today. Amen. Carolyn, Carolyn, it's today. Amen and amen. Those of you who are sending Momo, the number is on the screen. And when you are, you are the offering boy is coming around touch it with your phone 
those of you who are sending Momo. Amen and amen. Please, if you have taken your friend, can please stand to your feet. Up, up there, down here, can you please stand to your feet? Amen. Lift up your offering. The Lord bless our offerings. Amen. Multiply our seed soon. Amen. In Jesus' name. Let this offering be a seed that will let us maximize today. Amen. We use it as a point of contact. Amen. Lord, let every day be a maximized day. Amen. Let not any day be an unproductive day. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh Lord, you are my soul. Can you stand to your feet and stretch forth your hands? Stand to your feet and stretch forth. Every hand that is stretched forth is blessed. Amen. If you're not employed, receive miracle, glorious employment in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you are employed, receive promotions. Amen. If you are looking for a new job, it has come. Amen. If you are doing your own business, receive more customers, clients, and profits in the name of Jesus. All your business ideas will see the light of day. Amen. If you're a student, receive wisdom and discipline. Your hands will not fail exam. Amen. And everything you will learn, you will be able to retain and remember in the name of Jesus. The offerings are blessed with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name, amen. Can we celebrate God today? today. Please, if we brought your tithe, come around. If you brought your tithe or you paid over the week, you have paid somewhere, please just come. You have paid it um, through our electronic media or anywhere you brought your tithe or you brought it today, just come forward. Come forward. Virginia anniversary cake in Jane. Cake in there Never be in a hope. So my name bomb, but I'm going to home by. No, be a mechanic. I'm telling you. Lift your tides. The tides are blessed. Your lives are blessed. The heavens are opened for you. Move from glory to glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Please, you can put it in or touch your phone with it. God bless you all in Jesus' name.
God bless you. God bless you. It's blessed. All right. It's our anniversary. I said it's our anniversary. Please be seated. I want to encourage us before we close that many years ago we did not have the kind of money that we should have for life or for wedding or for anything. Then God gave me a statement that I don't need money for marriage. I rather need marriage for money. Why? Because when you marry, the Bible said, he that finds a wife has found a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. You know, our generation, because of the way we have done things, people think you need a lot of money for wedding. Wedding is an event. Marriage is your lifetime. Instead of investing into an event, invest into the lifetime. Am I communicating here? So during our wedding, we cut down cost to the barest minimum. We didn't share any food. All we shared were rock bands. And you can see the name, rock bands. And no, a meko for no, 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 and that time we didn't have any women's wing here. That time we were, were, were few here. And they did the rock bands, and the rock bands was very hard. That when you give somebody and say, Oh, who pay you? So yeah. We don't want again. Plenty were left. So on the Saturday, when we went for honeymoon and we came back for Sunday Thanksgiving, they baby they were. So my mother and the, the women's wing said, Please, would, would you want some? To, to your hotel and maybe as we said no. we don't. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and yet we were declared husband and wife despite the food we shared and we rather took the money the gifts and other things to live life because if yesterday I went for a wedding, people really don't give for a wedding so. So if you think that me this ka kushim na achede ne ba mate obedeka. E di for Mr. Obedeka. Mr. and Mrs. Debia Obedeka. Yeah, wedding. I'm advising you because it's our anniversary. Don't spend a lot. Don't spend a lot on the event. Many couples fight during their honeymoon because a cut dao, a lot of debt. They brought this one. They brought tent. They brought a coman. They brought this. They brought drinks. And they thought that money will come during the wedding, <laughs> so that they will pay. Share. No, you see, if I bring those who have married here, they will tell you the gifts that they received to the wedding. Especially those who have done wedding for here. Yesterday, I went for a wedding. And when it was offering time, you see, I thought that I was in our church. So I took a lot of money and I put it in the basket. But I was looking at those who were there. They would just let the basket pass. I think I went with you. They were just dancing. Almost sasa. I never found the salsa. Almost sasa. I go back. One guy. We don't know. That's how he was dancing. I wanted to take the video and come and show mommy. The guy was just like. <laughs> yes, yeah, throughout the guy would come dance and then would go back and come back. He didn't put any offering in the basket. But the announcement was that the offering is only one for the couple. No, no, but so you see, when they now are bringing the brown envelope that contains the offering, it's a moon from a womb. Now, envelope, now I said they're a pregnant envelope. And so she named Cody Mount. She named. Oh, then it was there when they brought the envelope. <laughs> 
and now plenty of people too don't go for weddings uh -huh. I remember one gentleman here was marrying and he told me that he wanted place of glory too <laughs> and I, mommy and I told him that <laughs> look <laughs> you would thank God that we didn't give you place of glory to you, you let's see you take place of glory one he took here he was looking back throughout what other people had come because you just said only half and when they come to you they go <laughs> when they finish they will not put anyone down you go to the gift table you know two about two or three people that have done what they say we want place of glory too about two or three people place of glory too when we finish and i ask them would you have love please go to papa one night <laughs> Because they love you. Just that when it's time, you don't know why. In fact, they even prefer funeral than weddings now. Why? Because they've seen that some people at the weddings are reducing the food content. But funeral, a quabaco, was Makwad Bay Yasi Jolof. I said, I don't smoke, no. I said, you said, if you need to be so happy to me. He said, yeah. Taste your name, come. So now people don't go for weddings a lot. So there are spaces in the chairs. Yeah. And you go to the gift table. One day, when you go for a wedding, you go to say, where is the gift table? And go and check. Yeah. It will inform you that you don't have to spend a lot for your wedding. A wedding suit, I think it was a gift. My wedding suit was a gift. When you are doing wedding, eh, tell people about it. Those who love you, tell them that this is your opportunity to do me good. It was a, it was a gift. Me, when I told people that I have a wedding, I didn't, I didn't even ask. They just asked, I'll buy a suit. So then the suit came from America. I was there and mommy too. Someone said, I'll buy a wedding gown. Wedding gown came from America. As for the rings, mommy went to UK and bought the rings. We got the rings. Mommy, I think that your ring, <laughs> mommy's ring, my ring, mommy's ring, that's three engagement and wedding. And Pastor's own and my sister's own. So six rings in all. But we got all, mommy, I think that those times, okay, you know, I'm going to say, do 200 cities. We are the Lord of the Rings. The ring is not the wedding. It's not the marriage. You can wear golden diamond ring, whatever. <laughs> Sister, recently they had a very lavish wedding. Some, some, it came on the net. Within three, six months, it's, it's broken. It's off. It's not the ring. I'm telling you. It's not the ring. I remember... I mean, we went to change the ring. Mommy, how many years after we married? I think about two, three years. Was it about one year? About six years. I got six years after we married. That's when we went to change the ring. And even when we went to change the ring, when we said, wow, Papa, your ring is that, that, that. I said, you don't even know the amount. But when, you are, when God blesses you, when you wear any simple or less expensive, you think that it's expensive. Even that time, six years after we changed it, that ring was, I think, 500 CDs. If we don't spend on such things, oh, what top blocks are answering? <laughs> you must know priority. What makes the marriage is not the ring; it's the information from God's word that you are sending into the marriage. That's what makes the marriage. To church, I say, if you don't want to save anything, you better have an amount. Umbe so be se wo she. The answer kung wo busi afo mo e de oso e. We now buy it. We have a counseling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause yeah, we're man. But some of your wedding, no one hour. May I know? One hour. And you about your wedding? How how long was your wedding? Forty-five minutes to fifty minutes. And he's married with two children. Yes. Enjoy marriage. Please be seated. One only. How long was your marriage? Two hours. Or one hour and some some minutes. Yes. Until you married. <laughs> <laughs> 
Father's to Father's marriage will be very, very beautiful. Yeah. To the glory of God. I'm telling you that. Listen, if you have money to spend, as for as we will eat. Won't you eat when you when you come and they won't you eat? Ah! If you have money, you want to I went for a wedding. The people ate her and they were using the, the thing to play football, the food. But we tumble and couldn't say no at all. Or the Benkwa ya bo. Please ya no a bo. Wa yam boss. Spaghetti bolognese. Seafood. So all those who have already married, I'm not talking to. I don't know the new ones who want to marry. One lady they asked there, how much you want to spend for your wedding? She said, eh, one million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you a real thing. She said one million dollars. I said, even rich men don't do that. What for? And and many that's why many gentlemen don't want to marry now. They're afraid of the ladies who say it's my day. It's my day. It's my day, ladies. Amen. It will come for any. <laughs> amen and amen. So, Kechuku, when your time is up, let me help you. As I'm saying, your time is up. It's not now. Scientific is even looking at your social media. <laughs> Auntie Fida, I'm going to be here. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be here. Amen. Leaders, you are taking over this session, right? Can we clap for the leaders? <laughs> hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, let's put hands together for our father and our mother. They are looking so gorgeous this morning. Hey! Their, their gown and their suits are gowning and suiting. Hey! Mommy. Mommy is looking like an angel. Papa is also looking like an angel. Wow. You see, times like this, you, it, it's, it's, it's a period that you have to tap into grace. Amen. It's so wonderful to be married for over 13 years. Hey, oh, there's 13 years. Every one film. Now we're on him. Oh, there were at the film. Now we start to see. Few start time, nobody's in there. A normal our film. Now, on Monday, they be a glorious one. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, before we do the cake cutting, um, please, all of you look at me. Obi and Shemi, and Shefom, Midinaha. Nami Aduma on the 2nd of April, in Penifonica, April. What has happened? Who can tell me? Oh, like a choir. Oh, please, like a choir. Our mother cannot celebrate her birthday. Now I can answer to what the children say on yesterday. So please, come mark your calendar. First, who will phone her? Be your phone, but be a calendar and one. Then mark it. Second April. Mrs. Second day. May can I talk to me? Why don't you cry? After today, not in. No, but it's second April. So I can. Then mark it. Our mother is celebrating her birthday, and this is a special birthday. Every time I hear Papa and Mama celebrate on BBI, it's special. Mr. Eddie, you're only flew on any day. You're special. Oh, you're special. So don't forget, on that day, uh, I think it will fall on a Tuesday. We say, yeah, go for the account, uh, fall on a Tuesday. That Tuesday, no. We don't need mommy picture and patch. Oh, you're probably who media for now. You're a man, nice pictures. Nice shots of our mother. Next, start to prepare. Some of can share, oh, mommy. Yeah, mommy. We're to one, we're to status. Come on, come on. Na nyami adma from that time na be seen a Sunday no, it's a special service. Into uba and you are known kwa and far no say mommy I love you I love you mommy you have been a mother to me na di and di yeah yeah and no yeah ne mum for be kind Jesus Christ say as if you love me do what feed. If you love me do what. Thou lovest me. <laughs> there is something you have to do when you love. Hallelujah, amen. Oh, thank you, Bishop. Wow. The pastors are in the spirit. Amen. 
It means that you have been well trained, well groomed, and well brought up. So please, yeah, chair envelopes. We are tapping into the grace. Hey, do you think it's easy to have a marriage only problem? Ministry here, cost of thirteen. If you see the kind of wisdom our mother has, it's not a small wisdom. This is wisdom from above. So your ba, especially man, if you want to enjoy marriage like our mother, tap into it. If you also want to enjoy a marriage and God will give you a woman like our mother, tap into it. It's not my wife the nia tepa. So it's the nia te or person who enjoy it. Oh no, oh no, my Hallelujah. And oh, so yeah. The women in this in this house, the married women, they are very wise, like our mother. So they are all, they are already tapping. So please take an envelope, put your bar. You want to you want God to bless you with wisdom, with a, a wonderful marriage like our mother's tap. If you are a man too, you want your your marriage to be sweet. Bishop Bishop said something. He said that if you want to be happy in your marriage, let your wife be happy. Eh? Or you don't know. If your wife is happy, you are also a happy man. So a happy wife, a happy home. Hallelujah. Wow, the cake is caking. Now as the, as the pastors are sharing the envelopes towards our, um, the, the birthday, now, my, please pastors, let all the pastors join me here. All the pastors, all, not a, all pastors. All pastors, please join me. Oh, let's clap for them as they come. All pastors, top, down, back, outside, everywhere. Oh, let's clap for the pastors as they come. Oh, but on seven. And chance to be a pastor, Nibi. Wow. So, on behalf of the sons and daughters of Papa, and also the international members, you see, you, inter- just say, Charlie, it's, it's such a wonderful, you see, it's such a wonderful thing. Listen, you see, by God's grace, God started with them, the two uh, man and woman of God over here, and their impact has extended beyond the boundaries of Ghana. Yes. And now, people in Nigeria, Germany, in where? Canada, India. Do you know how far India is from Ghana? But their impact, you see, people, from, people in Singapore, people in India, they are benefiting from the, the, the marriage over here. It's not a small thing. So if you are here, Charlie, you have to do better. Amen. Oh, let's put that together for uh, Pastor James as he comes. <laughs> so we present this cake to our father and our mother. Oh, put your hands together, our father. Wow! Wow! So the sons and daughters of Papa, including the IMM international members. International members, if you are watching, please, the cake is here. So tap into the grace, Papa. Wow! Please, today, if we close, it is Pastor Foster's fault. <laughs> Did you wear that thing that sweetie bought for you? No, sir. <laughs> Please be seated in the presence of God. It's an ear something, right? Air, airport. Yeah. Please, I want us to be here so we can all see what is going on. But let us be shouting and celebrating as we carry the cake. Amen and amen. It's a beautiful cake. And uh, everywhere it came from, anybody who brought it, I want to say, God bless you so so much on this day of our anniversary so please pastors join mommy and i come come around we cut the cake in the name of the father if you don't praise an, an, an object will praise for you it was happening here yeah? Technically, it's not your fault. It's the people, they didn't praise well. So the machine prays for them. So I cut the cake in the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
And because it is our anniversary, we will be able to come out It's a very nice cake. Is it from Cherry Puff? Wonderful. Cake Nado. Who's the 20th anniversary? Also, we the 30th anniversary. You also enjoy 50. Oh, someone, Mike, in the bedroom, Mamu. You also enjoy 50 years anniversary with sweetness and with joy. In Jesus' name, Amen. What do you tell us? Wow. Hallelujah. And so, he said, I may God bless you to you all for showing up first to God and showing up for our anniversary also for all those who are giving this beautiful cake other gifts god bless you people started sending us gifts way before um the the real date and it's amazing how god can take you from there and bring you here and so when we look back and we consider the things that god has done for us we are sure to also see for you and for all who are connected to your destinies and wherever you are, God will give you a glorious marriage. Amen. God will pick you from there and bring you here. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In your marriage, we pray the blessings of God upon your marriage. Amen. We pray that your marriages be enjoyable. Amen. And not one that you would endure. Amen. We pray that God would abide with you and in your marriages. Amen. That your children will live wanting to marry. Amen. When we are at home and our kids ask us, so mommy, when I marry, then you, the feeling is nice. Because there are certain settings that you don't even desire as a child to marry. So you don't even, it doesn't even cross your mind. But as, at a very tender age, if your child is asking, when I marry, then it means they've seen something good in marriage. And so they want to also get there and marry. And the only thing you also have to do is to let them know God is the, the pivot of your marriage. Hallelujah. So when the time is due for your children also to make the choices in marriage, they would look no further but to God. Who gives and ordains marriages in Jesus' name? Amen. Oh, let's celebrate the Lord. Mommy, you didn't cast off. Also, now mommy have break out too. Can you believe me? I'm my break. Hallelujah. I'm not gonna buy no more fear, fear. Hallelujah. But all night, just make I say, don't fear. Amen. We declare that from this cake, sweetness has entered our lives. Will everybody get some to eat? Everybody can get some to eat. Yes, everybody can get some. Oh, let's say everybody can get some. Let, let somebody try. Everybody try and eat something. I leave it's a small something. To a man for a phone could do so. Oh, as a way, boy, I'm done. We may need this habit here. Men need this for food. Oh, the cake is a banco. Men the cake is a banco. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. Leader, that's all right. God will truly bless you in Jesus' name. Can we celebrate the pastors? Yeah, the pastors. Please, the testimonies, we are going to share them in the evening at AGM. Tonight at AGM, it's an amazing time. It's amazing, it's an amazing time. We start at four. The Lord wants me to show you how to call for things. There are things that are created, and there are things that are called for. How do you do that? How do you do that? The consciousness of the rising army. So tonight, we are going to close very, very early because of the program we are having tomorrow, God willing. Yes. In fact, there may be no meeting, I mean, even after us. May. It means can change. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It's a May. And we are also not in the month of May. Tomorrow we are starting our week of intense glory.
tell somebody, have you been joining our online meetings? Ask somebody for me. Please, you may be seated. Now, so, um, tomorrow morning, 5 a.m., we are doing our morning devotion on Facebook. Please, what's the time? 5 a.m. On Facebook. And what is the Facebook page? Pastor Ebenezer Owusu Answer. On hyphen room, Pastor Ebenezer Answer. To boy, I won't say. I bet that to the glory of God. 5 a.m. Papa, we want the morning devotion. Papa, why don't you want that? We want it every day. And so ever no other. But tomorrow, 5 a.m., we are all on. Amen. Then we have an afternoon session. It's a week of intense glory. What, what time is the afternoon session? 11.45 to 12.15. That one too on Facebook. Then we have the evening session. That one too is at what time? 6.30 p.m. Same for Tuesday. Then Wednesday, we'll do morning afternoon on Facebook, but the evening, we're going to come here at 6 p.m. Then Thursday, morning, afternoon, Facebook, but evening, when we are, we are starting our Easter convention. So, on Friday, Friday there is morning. Tell somebody, listen to the announcements very, 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 very well. One day we, we closed from church and someone came to see mommy and I at the office. And we said, I hope you know that this... So, oh, Papa, I didn't hear the announcement. I said, ah, were you in church? He said, Papa, I was sitting in church. So how come we did the announcement and didn't hear? Because the boy preached you, yeah, that could be a... You must listen to the announcement because it's, it's instruction. Amen. Friday, what time are we coming? Huh? A lingo, who's a lingo crown? I know from from or a lingo credit now. Why and then I'll buy so the Friday morning is 8 30 a.m. A lingo, it is what time 8 30 a.m. Be sitting, praise the Lord. Saturday, too, is what time 8 30. It's 8 30 to 2. We a convention 8 30 to 2 um, p.m. with one hour break. See, a do bear level more than one hour break. Now, Sasha, I 12. We start 12, then we close at 2. Amen and amen. amen. There will be seminars and other things in between. So if you miss, and please, let me say before we start the convention, you will come for both morning and, eve- and afternoon. It's together. There's no evening service. So don't be like, Papa, me by morning session, in the afternoon, they may ma. It's not like that. That's why it should have been a camp where we would be camped in a particular place. But we are not doing that. So 8.30 to 2, the rest of the day is yours. So don't forget that Easter is about Jesus. Amen and amen. Same for Saturday. But Sunday, Resurrection Sunday, it is 9.30. We all come here at 9.30 like we always do. Amen and amen. And in the evening, Sunday evening, we're going to be having Resurrection Atmosphere of Glory and Miracles. I think you want a stone, a stone to celebrate for you. Amen. Please be seated. So let's make sure that we are all here for all, as of what, all the meetings. I want to see you. All the meetings to the glory of God. Amen. Perry, all the meetings. Where's Tego? Where's Tego? Oh, tell Tego I'm searching for him after service. God bless you. God bless you. Amen and amen. So that so this week is a very loaded week. Then after the week is over, the Tuesday is mommy's birthday, as Pastor Foster rightly said. I look like you are tired of today. Then after mommy's birthday, that same April, we are having our catatismus camp. Everybody say catatismus. What does it mean? Please be seated. Who can tell me what catatismus means? Who? I. Pony Tiringo, sir. And Tiffy does the baby each day. Hallelujah. Now, it's from the word equip. Amen. It's one of, the Bible says that he gave some for the equipping or perfecting of the saints. Amen and amen. For the work of the ministry. So, 
that camp is to equip us to do well in life and for God's work. Amen and amen. So Catechismus camp, that one is 12th April and 13th April. April. So please when we close, Pastor Odenke come. When we come, Pastor will be here. And we are all, it's a camp. We camp way there. We will be going to the campground. You see, and it's not for us. So we are going to pay. So everybody, where you sleep and what you eat, you are paying 120 the least, then 130, then for couples, 300 cities. For the entire camp, 120. Or is it 130? 130. 120, 130, and 300. Amen and amen. Can we stand with a shout of praise as we close the service? Please, if this is your first time, can you wave your hand? Please, if this is your first time, can you wave your hands? So it's your first time. Oh, let's clap for all the beautiful first timers. Wow. God bless you. First timers, we have a wonderful refreshment for you. Wonderful package for you. So from up there, down here, Yapoma, please come and sit um, here. When you sit here, Pastor Felix and the team will minister to you. Amen. Amen. Still was in training. Today we are writing exams. And next week, God willing, we are, you are going to be ordained. Amen. So if you are not here today, you must understand that you yourself, you have removed yourself from the graduation and from the ordination. Amen and amen. All right. And uh, when we close, the, the choir is 12 o'clock. So the choir will meet me at... Why would the stewards write the exams for the first time? He said, when? What time? At one. So it's like one to two. It's 45 minutes. So it's like 45. So please, all the choirs are meeting me at 150. 150. All the choirs are meeting me here at 150. God willing. And uh, at three o'clock, Okay, missionaries will meet me in the office. I think 40 minutes from here, missionaries can meet me at the office. At 3 o'clock, PMS, we are going to meet. At the, and I'm meeting you at 3 o'clock, PMS. Amen, amen. God bless you. Can you stand to your feet as we take the closing song? Yeah. <laughs> May the peace of God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. I was just watching Never End. Joe and I was laughing throughout. These people are very interesting people. Lift up your two hands. <laughs> Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. Lord cause faith to shine upon you. Amen. Lord be gracious unto you. Amen. The Lord give you his peace. Amen. The name of the Lord is named upon you. Amen. It is a great week for you. Amen. In the name of Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Pastor Foster. How can you feel? Yeah. <laughs> Action talks all. Yeah. 
Lift your hands. Let's share the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us.